环球财经环节，纽约的财经记者庞哲将会跟意大利的酒商一起探讨如何引导中国的消费者的品酒文化，来提升葡萄酒的促销商机。我们交给你，庞哲。十六国家尽管近期的西方媒体都普遍报道中国富豪来美消费，但是西方商家并没有因此就忽略中国巨大的消费市场。本期的经济观察，我们就以一个轻松的话题来看看西方豪华产品销售商是如何看待中国国民的消费文明程度的提升，而以此为他们展现的新的商机。不过，首先回顾一下过去一周欧美股票市场走势的状况。周一，美股全天震荡，三大指数涨跌互见做收。美国股市周二关注公司盈利报告，所以相继收跌。美股周三看好联储局会议记录小幅上扬，而美股在周四受葡萄牙银行危机的影响收跌。周五，美国股市继续是关注公司盈利，大盘是开低走高。欧洲股市星期一走势低迷，而在星期三的时候，欧洲三大指数全线持续下跌，跌至十周以来最低水平。欧洲三大股指在星期四反弹收高，美国治理公司的财报缓和了市场的负面气氛，而欧洲三大股市在周五走势是开低走低，投资人套现离场，等待下周公司公布业绩的状况。西方消费品商进入中国，如果要受到广大消费者的接受和宠爱，并且迅速的扩大消费市场，时机一定要准确，目标一定要对位。例如，中国消费者的消费习惯、消费水平以及对不同文化消费方式等等，商家一定要十分了解。接下来，我们的经济观察单元就来看一家意大利专门葡萄酒商是怎样应对这一系列的挑战，而逐渐成功进入中国消费市场的。I'm one of the owner of Fattori Fibiano in Tuscany. It's a small family company, and we actually produce wine, and we even have a sort of bed and breakfast in the winery, so people can come and expertise about wine and learn and help us to do all the process of the wine. And this is what we are doing there. How did you start your business and market share yeah. in China? It wasn't was that difficult? Yeah, actually, uh, I've been focused on Chinese market now since uh, more or less five years. But on the beginning, I was trying just to penetrate the market, just going there, make wine fair, and try to find distributors. Then what I understood, I understood that that market was a little bit difficult and tough on the beginning, because Chinese consumers, on the beginning, they just were focused on buy wine to not consume, but just to uh, give up as a gift. Mm -hmm. So they were not really interested in the story behind the bottle of wine. They just weren't interested in the brand name because mm -hmm. once you have to make a gift, you want you know, to create a gift, impress your 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 your, uh, your guests. So uh, this was till a few years ago, let's say a couple of years ago. Now what happened there is the consumer start to buy the wine for himself, so for consume the wine. So they want to spend less money, but they want to have the same quality. Mm. So now is the right time for a small winery mm. to be there. Well, did you uh, participate in education um, in order to promote the product for them to consume? Because I believe there has to be the process for people to understand why to appreciate wine. What we are doing is not just going there and sell wine. We have to help them to understand the wine before we're selling. So if they understand what they are drinking, they buy the wine. And they are excited. They are excited because they are not only consuming alcohol, they're consuming something else. They consume culture. history, they consume culture, they consume life of people that dedicate to this mm -hmm. art, because wine is art. What do you happens? host the wine tasting in China just for your own brand? Do you do that? Yeah, actually we many do times? Yeah, Many times? How's the reaction from the uh, consumer? They, 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 are, they are excited, they, they, they like it, they like the product, they, they want to know more, they want to come and visit. So it's not only again selling wine, it's we sell uh, a life 
quality. You know, so are you, are you going to open your own specialty stores since you have one tasting already created a loyal follower? No, this is still a little bit far away. But anyway, we're working on that. We are working on that. A lot of Chinese people, they mention a lot about French wine. I think that's a very strong competition from a, a French wine. I really believe that Chinese market is so big and it's growing up so much that there's space for everything. I really believe that in a few years, not many years, but in a few years, the, the amount of, wine, of French wine and Italian wine will be the same.